In Storyline, when you publish a course, you might have noticed that if you hit your tab key in the published output, like I just did, what happens is you'll see this box that appears on your slide content. And if I keep hitting tab here, the box is going to travel to different objects on my slide. Like it's going to move from the upper left down to the lower right until it hits on everything in my slide. And if I keep hitting tab, it's also going to select items on my player, like my menu and the sidebar. Now it's on my volume control here. And then if I keep hitting tab, it's going to move to the previous button, then the next button, and it even moves up here to any tabs that I've inserted on the top bar of my player. So the reason that this box is there is because if a learner is using an accessibility device like a screen reader, then when they tab to a specific object, whatever is selected by that box is what the device is going to read to the learner. Now, if you don't need that feature in your published output for certain items, like maybe if I tab to this, you know, rectangle here that represents the floor, you know, this particular object maybe doesn't have any, you know, specific learning value here. It's really just part of the visual design of my course. Then what I can do is remove that item from being seen by the accessibility device. And that way it's not going to be, you know, a distraction to your learners. Um, another situation that you might be interested in is that if you do want this item to be seen by accessibility devices, but maybe you want to give it a special name, you can also do that. Like if maybe this were not a rectangle, but instead it were, you know, like a graphic of a floor with a bunch of tripping hazards on it, you might want your screen reader to say something very specific about this to your learner. So here's how you can customize things for both of those situations. Let's go ahead and select the object on our slide. And what we can do is come up to the format tab and then over here at the far right of the menu, you'll see this section called size and you can click in the lower right corner, that little arrow there, and you'll bring up this size and position window. And right here you can select the third tab, which is called alt text. And this is where you can do a couple of things. So let's take this situation where maybe this is actually a graphic of a floor with some tripping hazards. Um, you know, and we want to customize that. What we can do is change the alt text here to something very specific like this. If we wanted our learners to know exactly what they were looking at and, you know, be read a certain string of text, this is what we could include. And this can be pretty long, so you can enter whatever you like in here. Another situation is if, you know, in this case, this is really not contributing to the learning value of the slide, it's just a rectangle. Um, what you might want to do is just turn the visibility off for this item, and you can do that by just unmarking the box here, and now it won't be read at all by an accessibility device. In fact, if we just preview the slide again and hit tab, we're going to tab to the caption and then to the guy, and if I hit tab again, see how it jumps right over my rectangle and now it's over here on my menu. So it's very easy to turn that accessibility rectangle off if you don't want it to appear or you can customize the alt text that the learner receives from their accessibility device.